about he didn't know what Jeff Sessions' views on the Klan were, I would look to how he prosecuted the head of the Klan for abducting and murdering a black teenage boy who he picked at random. He fought hard for the death penalty. He prosecuted several cases to desegregate Alabama schools. So if you're wondering about desegregation, there's something you could look at. He was elected the state attorney general in Alabama, where he made sure that that death penalty was carried out against that man who killed the black teenage boy. And he also, because of his actions, was able to, there was able to be a $7 million civil settlement that ended up bankrupting the Klan in Alabama. So yes. if you're really wondering about his views on the Klan, that might be something. I wasn't, because I know him. And I, look, I mean, Susan, he, Jeff Sessions does have some views that are not fully mainstream. On trade, for example, they're on the mainstream in Washington, that's right. for sure. He's very suspicious of our trade deals. Definitely. And that's not out of the mainstream anymore. Well, it's not. But in Washington, so I wonder, right. why not attack him on that? You know what I mean? If you're going to go after him as a Democrat, why not go after what he's actually said? Well, it's true. I think what liberals fear most about Sessions is his views on immigration, which are well known and well documented. He is a yes. staunch opponent and border security advocate in the House and in, in the Senate. And I think that's really behind a lot of what their worries are about his political views. But they can't really attack him on that. He's a member of the Senate. He's, he's going to glide to a confirmation, I believe. And so they're looking for things. They're picking at things in his past. You think past. he's going to glide? Because you're hearing all these sort of ominous Well, I'll tell you how it works through. right now. Well, no, no, because first of all, he can get through. He only needs 51 votes. Right. And Senator Susan Collins of Maine, perhaps the most moderate Republican in the Senate, to announce that she is supporting him at this point. So I don't see it's anything done. barring him yeah. from getting to the finish line. But as you were saying, what is it that they really oppose about him? There's not a lot that they can really that he's done in the past two decades in the Senate, as you pointed out. So they're digging into 30 years ago and the whole nomination process and how he lost his chance to serve on the court based on what someone accused him of saying, these racial remarks. The person who made some of those remarks was discredited with his own issues, his own credibility right. issues. Uh, that goes back 30 years ago. The whole and thing is so dumb. It, I just can't even. What it is, is they're just looking for any They're lining up these three nominees as like mug shots. Like, look but, at these nominees. They're not diverse. There's no women. There's a, well, you know, Trump is picking people based on merit and loyalty, and he's not going for the big diverse thing, although he is looking at other diverse candidates. Right, so. not an identity politics, man. Uh, that's for sure. So Mitt Romney.